And now to our lab. Oh! Where we do incredible experiments. Oh, it's disgusting. To show you how your body works. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today's lab is all about fluorescence. Our teeth are glowing under ultraviolet light. Ooh, yours are blue. Are mine green? No. So what's going on? Well, it's complicated, but... You see light in a spectrum from red through yellow, then blue, then violet. And beyond violet is ultraviolet, which we can't see. But in our bodies, we have molecules that are absorbing the UV light from these torches right now and doing something brilliant. The electrons and molecules in my teeth get all excited. And when they calm down, they release a special light that only shows up when these torches are on. This is called fluorescence. So, in normal light, your teeth look like this. But if we lower the light, they look like this. And that's because the molecules in your teeth are emitting a fluorescent light that you can't normally see. But something else in your body is fluorescent too. Oh. Yes, these are escaped splashes of wee. Not very hygienic, but useful for our experiment. Best not to try this yourself, we're experts. Some of the waste molecules that come out in your pee also absorb the ultraviolet light, and they become fluorescent too. Oh my goodness, people have been careless. Wait, Chris, haven't you been using this toilet all day? Sand! So, if we fluoresces under our UV torches, you know what this means, don't you? What? That your body makes invisible ink. Wow, of course! We're going to do a very special experiment, but we're under laboratory conditions. Chris, we're in a toilet! Look, all I'm saying is we can only do this because we're doctors, we're a little bit silly, and we're wearing protective gear. So, now that we've got Zahn's we, it's on with the invisible ink experiment. I'm going to ask Zahn three body-related questions, and he's going to write the answers in his we. But we won't see what he's writing, because we're about to prove that Zahn's we is invisible ink. It's quiz time! Question one. What is the only part of the body that can't repair itself? It's a toughie, this one. Will Dr Zahn get it right? I'm done. Second question. What is the body's largest organ? This is a good question. I know this one. Are you done? I'm done now. Good. Finally, how many litres of urine does the average human produce every day? Hmm. The amount of wee you produce is very related to how much you drink in a day. That's the end of quiz time. It doesn't look like you've painted anything. No, I have. It's right there in my own wee. I did it. No, I know, I know. You've painted in your own urine. That's why we can't see it. But if we turn on the ultraviolet light, it'll reveal how many Zahn's got right. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Now you can see my answers. The molecules in the wee are fluorescing after absorbing UV light. So question one was, what's the only part of the body that can't repair itself? Teeth. Well, actually, it's the enamel. Which I think we'll give you the point. Yes. Question two, what is the body's largest organ? Skin. The skin is right. Finally, how many litres of urine does the average human produce in a day? I put three. Three is wrong. Uh, the answer is 1.5. So I pee twice as much as an average person. That's right. Well, you probably drink twice as much as the average person. Anyway, two out of three isn't bad. Let's turn on the lights. You see the writing's disappeared now. So we've shown that molecules in your body fluoresce after absorbing UV light. You've actually got invisible ink inside your body. And this fact was discovered years ago. Urine used to be used by spies as invisible ink to write secret messages that could go undetected by the enemy. Oh, still a bit smelly, though. <laughs> 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 <laughs>